What's up guys, Josh Southern Afterlife. Guys, we're here at the Bible Bridge in Tennessee. This place, I'm not sure why it's haunted, but there's a lot of rumors going around that it is haunted and we're here to find out. We've already heard voices. We had something yell at us as we drove across the bridge the first time. And um, there's some energy here. It seems like it's heavy and sad, so we're doing investigation and see what we can come up with. I'm here with John, Exploration up, Unknown. We're gonna do it up, guys. Let's go. that we drove across to get over to the parking lot because you can't drive on this bridge anymore but as we were driving I seen a light come from the window on the bridge and we heard a yell now we haven't seen anybody around here no. honestly it's 30 degrees out right now so I highly doubt anybody's going to be hanging around except for us as you can see, it's all, all tagged up. This bridge is leaning a little bit, so it's kind of, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of got a lean to it. Now this is not like the Medora Bridge that, you know, you see the span in this. They were about double the length, and it was three spans. It's the longest bridge in the world, covered bridge. But, this one has a share of eerie feel to it. It sure does. Somebody. There's a lot of graffiti on this too, man. Is anyone here with us? Take a listen to the audio in this next clip. It sounds like you better get out. If there's anybody here can give us a knock. This may be water matrixing, but it sounds like a disembodied voice says we're all sick right after John coughs. I thought I heard a voice. I did too. A woman's voice. Yeah. Look how bad this thing's leaning. I know. Yes. I'm holding my camera level. Well, the tilt is the actual structure itself leaning. I think they need to do a little work to it. Yeah. Sure, this thing in. It'll come out every one day. It's going to be falling over. The things we do for views. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Make sure y'all give us a thumbs up. Yeah, for real. I heard another woman, bro. Did you really? Yeah. Here is the woman I'm referring to. It almost sounds like you better go. Take a listen. Is this like something was drug off here? Or is this just like paint or something? I can't tell. I would say something was drug. I don't think that's like blood or anything. It doesn't look like it. Probably just something nasty. It almost looks like somebody had to poop real bad and drug their body across the floor. 
So we definitely got some creepy feelings here. We're hearing a woman's voice. We'll bust out some equipment. Let's see if we can get some evidence. Are you trying to focus on that sign up there? Yeah, it would not focus. I got it finally. All right, we'll do a spirit box. Maybe there is something here. I just put that battery in at the car. Oh really? And it's already down the half. Yeah. Wow. Can you tell me your name? When we asked if it could tell us its name, it said it already did. Now this is significant because as soon as we turned the spirit box on, it said Bridge or Bridget. This was not caught in my video. I'm not sure if it's on John's or not. Did you die on this bridge? I can't tell what this disembodied voice is saying, but listen, it sounds like a response to my question. Can you tell us your name? Can you touch the green light for me? Well, let me know you're here with me. It's a no. Yeah, it's a no. I'll put this over here. We're also using. Touch it to let us know you're here with us. Alright, guys, I just put the EMF detector down at the end of the bridge there. So if something touches it, we'll definitely know. And the volume's on, so it'll beep. We come here in peace to speak with you. Can you tell us your name? Did you drown? Can you touch that green light on the floor? Your light just died. But it turned off. No, it died. It's dead. That's dead, my camera's dead. These are both brand new batteries. Wow. Something is draining your batteries, bro. I mean, my light's almost dead and I just put it in too. It's about halfway. My camera's okay for now. 
You gonna need to rebattery up? Yeah, I'm gonna change some batteries right now. Right, guys, we'll be right back. He's gonna change his batteries. This voice almost sounds like a man saying wreck em. What did that say? Did you say get him? I don't know, I have to listen back to that yeah, one. Yeah, I don't have to listen back to that one too. Attention. Guys, tell me what you think that said. That was prominent, whatever it was. I don't know guys, at first I had my doubts of this place being haunted, but we're definitely getting some interesting responses. Yeah. Some weird sounds too. A, a disembodied woman. All right, let's try to puck. Yeah. See what we get. Puck? It said puck. It said puck. <laughs> Dang, and I wasn't recording. I was. Okay, guys. Josh was recording for this. He said, "All right, let's get the puck out and try it." The spirit box said puck, and the spirit box said puck, and it almost echoed like puck. Yeah. Get it out for you. Things have been loving the puck lately. I know. The Paranormal Puck is a device that connects to your phone with an app. It is loaded with different types of sensors that relate to evidence in the paranormal field. It also acts as a communication device when you speak into it. Who is with us? Capital E. Capital E. There's nothing around That's here. That's a very odd response. It is. Did you die here? Debbie. Debbie? Debbie. We kept hearing a woman's voice. Debbie. Turn this on while you're doing that too. Digital recorder. Debbie, how did you die? Simple. It's simple. You can also speak into this, Debbie, and I'll be able to hear your voice. What, is... what happened to you? General. General. Simple general. It's kind of dodging the question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Switch my hands. We'll set this down here, Debbie, so you can speak into it if you wish. That's better. Did you drown? Rest. Rest. Like, I'm at rest. Hmm. Well, apparently not if we keep hearing... Hearing her yell. Yeah. How did you die? Mountain. Salarin. What? What is that? Let me see what. Mountain. Salarin? I don't even know what that means. Yeah, we don't have signal here, so I want to. I can't even look it up. Salarin. I mean, we are around the mountains right now, but. Yeah. If you know what salarin means. Drop it in the comments. Yeah, same here, guys. Were you hung here? HOV. HOV. It says HOV, but it came across as how. Oh. That doesn't doesn't make any sense. No. Alright. It says HOV, but it's spelled out how. That's weird. I've never had it like give two different yeah. responses. Are we safe here? Sink. 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 Ooh. Like sink to the bottom? Ask if they fell off the bridge. 
Did you fall off the bridge? Wolf. 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 That's just an odd. Yeah. Now, my spirit animal is a wolf. Is it? Mm hmm. If you listen closely, it sounds like an animal growling outside. Could this be the wolf? Did I hear a growl? I think so. I heard it too. Okay, if there's a wolf standing out here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crap myself. I'll be buying a new camera and everything. <laughs> It sounded like something growling at me. It did. Wonder if I caught that on camera. There's nothing out here. Now it wasn't my stomach. <laughs> No, that was coming from out here. I yeah. Heard about that. Oh, There's nothing out there. I'm almost nervous when I thought you were under the bridge, is there? Mm. Oh, gosh. There's a hole there. <laughs> I can't see anything. I almost wound up under the bridge. No, there's nothing there. Yeah. That was just strange, though. Yeah. What happened? Your, your pup's locking up like crazy. That's odd. And now it just stops. It stopped. It did that too. It went for a minute and it stopped. That's done it again. That's weird. It says wolf and there's a growl. Uh huh. Maybe it was more relevant than we thought. I've got a green light sitting here, a device with a green light on it. Feel free to touch it to let us know you're here. You still, you can speak into the other device sitting near it and I'll be able to hear you. And if you're down at the end of the bridge, there's another device down there you can touch with a green light. It'll change color. Can you make a sound for us? I want to knock, and if you can, knock back for me. Yeah. <laughs> Mine too, bro. It's just the snotty nose weather. Yes. Frozen face We've weather. Been out all night. It's probably a 3 a.m. challenge at this point. Definitely. I don't even know, but it probably is. <laughs> Can you give us a sign that you're here? Debbie, are you with us? I thought I heard disembodied I am. 
just be offered another one now. Debbie, are you still with us? Lend. What did it say? Lend. Did you hear that? I heard that. It sounded like a wolf howl. That was creepy, dude. That made the hair stand up on me. It was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, my microphone did not pick up the wolf's howl. You can actually hear it on John's video, though. Link is in the description. <clears throat> but it was kind of far off. It was very far off. But it's just bizarre how we get the... It said wolf, the response and then we wolf, hear a growl, and now we hear a howl. Now we hear a howl. Ooh. Did you hear that? Uh-uh. I heard ooh, ooh. Like an owl? Kind of. It just freaked me out. I guess it was an owl. <laughs> There's no owls in here. This is for sure. That wasn't an owl, though. That was a prolonged... No, owl. the first one was a howl. Yeah. <clears throat> and it might have been the water I was hearing when, when that last one. I don't know. I really feel like something's toying with us. I know. I mean, the, owl, the wolf thing was spot on. Yeah. Because we heard the growl and then the howl. Yeah. But other than that, we haven't gotten solid. It's just been random. Yeah. And we've been hearing a guy. We had sink on there. Yeah, we've been hearing a guy come through the spirit box. And then now we got woman's names coming through here. Now we have heard like the disembodied woman's voice. Yes. And then the howl. Which I don't know if that's paranormal or if that's really a wolf howling somewhere. I hope it's not real. <laughs> yeah. How many spirits are here with us? Choose. Choose. Choose what? Poor. Poor. Poor? I don't know, bro. I don't think the puck's working. Like, I don't think it is either. We've only had a couple intelligent responses. The thing is, like, we're hearing sounds, and I can't guarantee you it's not maybe matrixing from the from water. The, water. Um, the hollow was definitely not matrixing. I think that might have been an animal. Yeah. Now, that's saying wolf, and then we hear a growl, then a howl. That's too compelling so, to... That's too compelling to rule out. So I'm thinking maybe there's something here, but it's just kind of... It's not an evil spirit or anything bad, but maybe it's just kind of toying around with us. Yeah. Maybe we're disturbing it and it's like, get out of here. I definitely don't feel threatened by no. anything. No, I don't either. I'm more worried about whatever howled. Yeah. Than anything paranormal. For sure. But I feel like we got some good evidence. We both were kind of like, ah, uh, when we came in. But yep. um, we definitely got some evidence here for sure. Yeah. Some good responses on the spirit mm -hmm. box. It's a cool bridge though, man. Definitely is. It's, just, it's worth coming to see if y'all are ever in East Tennessee. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't like consider it haunted. There, there may be a spirit here, but it's not like anything crazy. Yeah, you're not going to have any crazy experiences here, I don't think. At least not tonight. Yeah. Things could change, but... I mean, it's cold, it's flowing water, and the base is made of limestone, so the conditions are... Perfect for anything you know, paranormal to come yeah. out here. But tonight, I just don't feel it. Nope. Me neither, man. Alright. Do my outro. Alright, guys. This has been the Bible Bridge. Now, we did get some some compelling evidence, especially when it said wolf, and we heard a growl and then a howl. Now, I don't know if there's a lot of spiritual energy here, but there's definitely something here. Something's communicating with us. We got a man's voice on Spirit Box and then a couple of women's voices or a couple of women's names on the puck. But it's 30 degrees out here, guys. We're freezing our butts off. Yeah. I think we're going to call it a night. Don't forget to go check out John's channel, Exploration Unknown. That's me. This link will be in the description. You know, big props to him for taking me around Tennessee, showing me around while I'm here. And just appreciate you guys watching. Y'all take care.